Hi guys, it's Leone and today I'm going to be talking about Eurovision because Eurovision, for those of you who don't know, is something that I really love and enjoy every single year. It's one of those things, one of the few things in life that can really make me cry tears of absolute pure happiness. And not a lot of things can do that. Most of the time I'm like on the floor crying about sad things. But Eurovision and everything that relates to it really makes my heart feel warm and fuzzy inside and I absolutely love it. it is really just pure joy whenever I am in a Eurovision kind of mood. Anyway, for those of you who are Australian and your Eurovision fans probably would have already heard the news and if you're just a Eurovision fan in general, you probably would have heard it as well, but Australia is actually going to be competing in this year's Eurovision 2015 in Vienna, Austria. I feel so conflicted about this news because on the one hand, like, yes, I'm Australian and we Australians absolutely love Eurovision, I am a testimony to that. But at the same time, the thing that I love so much about Eurovision is that it's Eurovision. And I'm not sure if you've looked at a map recently, but Australia is very much not that close to Europe. In fact, we're pretty much on the other side and on a different hemisphere. The producers of Eurovision have given Australia a spot in the finals to compete, which means that Europe can vote for Australia and Australia can vote for their favourite European entries. They say that it's a one-time thing because it's the 60th anniversary of Eurovision and that's all well and good and stuff, but I just feel like allowing Australia to compete really strips the essence of what makes Eurovision so good. And they said that in the instance that Australia does win, Australia won't be hosting the Eurovision because God forbid all these countries would have to buy $2,000 plane tickets to Australia to compete in Eurovision in Australia. But in the instance that Australia does win, they will allow Australia to compete again next year. Now a lot of people might say, yeah, but you know, there's a lot of countries in Eurovision that shouldn't be in Eurovision. like. For example, Israel, Azerbaijan, etc, etc. But if you look at a map, they are more closely geographically linked to Europe than Australia will ever be. Last year, we actually did have an interval act in one of the semi-finals. I think it was semi-final number two. We sent Jessica Maboy to represent Australia. She's amazing. She came second in Australian Idol one year and I was a huge fan of her. But you could just tell that the production was just so incredibly over the top and cringingly Australian. Like the most stereotypical Australian things you could get. It was kangaroos jumping on stage and surfers and I was just like, what is going on? I'm kind of nervous to see who they will send to be Australia's representative. I really hope that it's not like some stereotypical cliche kind of act. Anyway, so those are really just my two cents and I just really want to know what you guys think and we can have an open discussion about this because I love Eurovision, everything about it just makes me so happy. I can't even... Oh, I've just started watching the pre-selection for Sweden's entry into Eurovision. It's called SVT Melody Festival and, and I am just so obsessed with it. I just... I don't... I can't help it. Whenever I start watching it and I hear a song that I immediately love, I just connect with it and it just makes me feel like I'm on the verge of tears. Last year for Sweden, I was really rooting for Lena Svenning. He had a song called Bröder, sorry for my Swedish accent, um, and I was in love with it even though I didn't really know the meaning behind the lyrics because it was in Swedish but I just felt with it because it was so emotional and I could just connect with it and I loved it. Anyway, he didn't make it through, Sanna Nilsson did, and this year, a bird really wants to be part of this conversation. Um, can you please be quiet, Mr. Birdie? Thanks. Anyway, this year Lena Svenning is competing in Melody Festival and again, and he competed um, today, Sunday, Saturday, the recently. And I watched it with Matthias, and I was just, I was kind of nervous because I only like it when Lena Svenning sings in Swedish. When he sings in English, it's a bit like, wow, he has a real Swedish accent and it's so obvious. And I was kind of like, skeptical about how his entry would be for this year but I watched it and I just immediately fell in love with everything about his song. I love the melody, the beats behind it and I just I love the song so if you guys want to check it out he didn't make it directly into the finals he's going to be in the second chance rounds so if you're Swedish and you're in Sweden 
please vote for Lena Spenning because I would really like to see him make it into Eurovision even though I don't know he might not win but I think he would be like a great asset to Eurovision because you know when you have those songs that are just so obviously and painstakingly Europe pop material that just has to be in Eurovision. You've got like your weird opera singers in Eurovision, you have your weird, I don't know, old ladies walking around like grandmas with cookies in their hands. And then you just have these really good generic pop songs that are just like, yes, I believe. I believe that there is life beyond life. You know, anyone can think that what you like is lame. I know a lot of people who are like, Eurovision, you like Eurovision, but why? Because it makes me happy and I think that if as long as you're doing things and loving things that make you happy Who cares what the rest of society thinks? Anyway, that's all from me for now I hope you guys have a fantastic week no matter what you're doing If you're feeling stressed out take a minute to just lay in bed and relax and listen to some music that you enjoy listening to Despite what society might think is horrible or bad or good whatever do what you love doing, like what you like liking, because if it if it's good, it's good. But yes, that's all from me for now, and I will see you in the next video. Hope you guys have a good one. Bye! This beanbag, this is a beanbag of life. Look, I even have a Eurovision pillow. Come on, come on, I'm, I am obsessed. Someone has to stop this obsession, no they don't, because it makes me happy, seriously. It takes my mind, it takes my mind off the horrible things in life. But let's just say that the one thing that's good to come out of Australia being a competitor in Eurovision this year is that I can vote for my favorite Scandinavian countries. Woo.